What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be giving tips on how to pass grad school. We have two experts here, two PhDs and two non-PhDs who will be giving pseudo tips on how to pass grad school. We'll be giving the real tips. Let's go. Oh, I should go first? Okay. Um, have money. The more money you start with, the less problems you'll have. 100%. 100%. So I feel like this is just a tip for life. If you want to live an easier life, have That's money. Correct. What kind of tips are these? How would you suggest someone to get money before starting grad school? I think it's important to have a few working years before you start grad school. I think it gives you a more enriching experience in grad school. And uh, I, not that I did any of that, by the way. It's just in retrospect, I'm being a hindsight genius. So I think it would help you if you had a few years of work experience so you can see how miserable work can be so you can see that grad school is better. <laughs> okay, I'll give you guys a real tip. I'd say an honors degree. Get an honors In degree science. before grad school? Yeah. Let's go with that. That means nothing. Even you don't seem confident in saying that tip. That tip is garbage. Well, I know <laughs> it's garbage to you guys because you don't have one. We, but like, are you kidding? We have you, an honors degree. We have honors degree. You, you guys kidding? did honors thesis. You of did. You yeah, guys did we did honors. No, no, I'm, we did honors bachelor's of science. I did it in physics and philosophy and mathematics, and Alex did it in just physics. Oh, really? Okay. Physics. Are you trying, are you trying to sound all special all now, Hannah? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> no, I, just I'm physics? the only one who has no. You did. You sorry. You did math and physics, right? No, you just did. just physics. I have a real tip. Unlike Trevor's tips, find a lab where the lab environment is good. If the other grad students around you are happy, you'll be happy. Or th or they're just dumb. What if they're faking their happiness? Or what if they're substantially smarter than you and you're dumb and you won't be happy there? So I think they're this isn't a sufficient condition. I think if they weren't happy, that's like a really good indication. But if they are happy, you don't know because people are sometimes fake. So I guess the tip can be reframed as don't work with a group where people are actively unhappy. Yeah. I accept this rephrasing. Gunjin, do you have any tips on how to get through grad school and hate your life the whole time like you did? I actually did not hate my life because I completed it faster than Trevor did, just saying. Although I have substantially less number of papers, but at the end of the day, we make the same amount of money, so it doesn't matter, okay? My tip for grad school is the following, is that, uh, well... <laughs> He just has none. <laughs> he happy. has no tips. Be happy. But my point is about being happy is that sometimes your work at grad school will make you feel like you're not going anywhere. Well, that's fine because you don't need to really go anywhere. It's all shit anyways, okay? So at the end of the day, there is only like two or three people in the world who'll ever read this thesis and even they won't read the whole thesis, okay? <laughs> and that's max. And that's max. So I think uh, whatever you do for four years cul culminates to a big thesis which almost nobody reads. So take it easy and be happy. That's quite harsh. But that's the reality. Maybe, maybe reality. it was just no one read your thesis because your thesis sucked. Oh, Alex, we'll see how many citations your thesis <laughs> gets. At the end of the day, your happiness is what really matters. Okay. And if like you go into science to be happy, okay. And if you're not happy, then even science is not worth doing. That's my real trip for you. You should work hard, but at the end of the day, just focus on your own happiness. You're doing a PhD to better yourself, not to better humanity necessarily. And sometimes bettering yourself is bettering humanity. I, I have Hannah, a tip. When you see your tip. friend, when you see your friend written a paper, steal it and publish it on archive first. Okay, here's a tip. This is kind of a combination of Trevor's tip and Alex's tip, which is find a supervisor who has money. Don't work with someone who can't afford to pay you if you don't get a scholarship. Don't work with someone who can't afford to send you to conferences, to send you to summer schools, to workshops, who can't afford to help you become a scientist. Find a sugar profi. I have a very related trip. So don't also work with somebody who is constantly traveling because these people are not worth working for because they often don't care about their own research. Okay, I have a tip. This is a tip that I was told my first semester as a grad student by a postdoc. There's a backstory, so let me just tell the story. We were chatting and he asked me what I worked on and I guess I was explaining it in like a half serious way kind of putting down my work. At the time, I was in the mentality that, you know, I was just a cog in the wheel. I was sure I didn't think the work I was doing was important. He stopped me mid-conversation and he was like, why are you talking like that? You're a scientist. You have to believe in what you're doing and you never know what your work might do. You have to just live your life thinking your work is important or else you're not going to go anywhere. Correct. You have to make sure that you are happy doing it every day. 
and that you feel connected to the work and whatever or else you're just going to be unhappy and think that what you're doing is useless if you really want the tip i think the grad students of the world should you should unite and break down this bullshit system of academia because it's a completely shitty system in which you have old people dictating the system for forever and ever and they never leave I think we should have a podcast on this. A tip I was given was that uh, you should focus on doing everything by hand, which is I think in retrospect a pretty bad tip. You should try to also learn how to do things by computer and you should really not try to do everything by hand because it's a, a lot of waste of your time. Who actually tries to do things by hand in today's age? Uh they're just wrong. I got a very good tip for you guys. If you have an important deadline coming up, you should stay up until 4 a.m. working on it. No. 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 It's not necessarily a bad tip because you have to sometimes. You never have to stay up all night working. You just don't. Just stay organized. Guys, look at my skin color. How many days of the week do you think I've done this this week? If the answer is every day, you're correct. I don't want to go into a monologue here, but take it away, Trevor. There's a lot of people that say you have to wake up at 6 a.m. This is so mainstream now that it's so annoying. It's just like, no, you don't. You can also go to bed at 6 a.m. It doesn't matter. Correct. And there's super famous people extremely yes. efficient people that did that and like these 6 a.m. people these bandwagoners are like so annoying because they completely ignore the fact that there's been nobel prize winners people that stay up all night and like it's okay like who cares if you want to look like this pale as fuck go 4 a.m. every day yeah so in conclusion the best tip for grad school is don't join grad school <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes. going to take over. That's not the best tip. Grad school can be fun if you know you want to do grad school. In conclusion, we gave you a lot of pseudo tips. Believe us at your own risk. We might have a more of a structured serious tips video in the future, but for now, this is all you're going to get. I hope all five of our subscribers enjoyed this video. And if you want to become our sixth, hit that subscribe button up here, wherever it is. I'm not used to this thing yet. Oh, the McKess person. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Don't do it. Don't do it. The one subscriber is going to like that. <laughs> <laughs>